What's going on YouTube? So it's not very often that a new car company enters the US. However, the electric revolution has provided a window for newcomers to challenge the giants. And not just challenge, but in some cases beat the giants. Like in the case of Rivian, which was able to put out the first full electric pickup truck in the US. By now you probably already heard some of the praise this new brand and truck are getting which is why Mason and I traveled down to Knoxville, Tennessee today to meet a local owner and check it out for the first time. So does this R1T live up to the hype? Let's go ahead and find out. All right, so it is exterior time, which of course is one of the very most distinct elements about this Rivian. When you see this thing, you know it's unlike anything else you've seen on the road, and you immediately know this is a new electric truck. So what I like about this design is that it's very futuristic looking without being offensive, <laughs> a cyber truck. So as you can tell, uh, up here in the front, we have this really cool lighting element. That's kind of the main feature that really uh, draws people's attention. Full length LED light that goes all the way across the front. Now integrated inside of that uh, light bar is gonna be your actual headlight unit. So as you can see, we have a cluster of four projector LEDs for your low and your high beams. We also have this circular uh, lighting element here for your turn signal indicator. Again, it just looks really cool really futuristic and interesting. Now as I come down below, uh, I want to point out something that's very important to the Rivian brand. So it's all about adventure. They actually call this an adventure truck. Um, and that means you have to have off-road capability and the ability to go places. So with this model, we do have an air suspension that has a really wide range of adjustments. You can go all the way from eight inches of ground clearance to 14.9 inches, which of course is a ton. Um, you also can get a big skid plate across the bottom here when you choose uh, one of the off-road packages. But regardless, we do have these hooks here as well, just integrated right into the fascia. And we do also have the LED fog lamps right there. Now, as we come up into this area, nicely integrated into the body, you may not even see it at all, is gonna be your charge port. Um, so how you open this is this small indention here in the wheel arch. When you press this, it's going to slide open and turn over. So kind of a cinematic uh, entry uh, as it opens up there. And there is your charge port, of course. So what this uh, does have, of course, is DC fast charging. It charges at 210 kilowatts. So that's good for a 20 to 80 percent charge in about a half an hour, roughly. Now there's gonna be several different pack sizes in terms of your batteries. What this one has is the large pack, which is the only one that's in production right now. And we'll get into all the details of that stuff uh, later on when we get to the test drive. Next up here, let's go ahead and talk about our wheels as I squat down. Um, so what we have is the standard 21 inch alloy wheel for this model today. Um, I really like the design of this wheel. As you can see, we have this combination of alloy elements and also some elements that cover up a good deal of the wheel. That of course is for efficiency because this is gonna be the wheel that gives you the maximum range. Now you've got some other choices that you can pick. You've got some 20 inch wheel options. Those are gonna be wrapped in all-terrain tires. So that's gonna be kind of the wheel if you really wanna go off-roading frequently. Um, just be aware that is going to reduce your range by about 40 miles if you choose one of those options. You can also go up to 22 inch alloys uh, that will reduce your range by about 21 miles if you make that choice. Now as we come on up here, we do have area for our airflow, aerodynamics. And then taking a look up here at the mirrors, uh, they're going to be fully loaded with all of the features. So you do have power folding, auto dimming, blind spot monitoring, and heating. Alright guys, so I'm sure you're curious about how you can get the R1T since it is a pickup truck after all. So you're probably wondering, can I get different bed and cab configurations? As you would expect for Rivian's first pickup truck and first vehicle, there's not going to be a ton of different combinations that you can get. So this is going to be what you get. You get the crew cab configuration with a four foot six inch bed. Um, so 
That's just the way this truck is made. It's going to be smaller than something like an F-150 Lightning for reference. It's in between a midsize and a full-size truck. The overall length is 217.1 inches. And let's work our way around to the rear design of the Rivian R1T. Now, as you probably know by now, I'm a really big fan of the way this truck looks. Both Drew and I really like how it, it, it just has a very cohesive and unique design to it. Um, it's not overstyled, <laughs> something like a Cybertruck might be. And, you know, it just has a very premium look to it. So let's break down some of the design elements. We have big Rivian spelled out across the entire back with, you know, some silver lettering. It provides nice contrast. And then the main element is, of course, going to be these taillights. These have a lot of resemblance to what you get in the front with the headlights that go all the way across. They are going to be full LED on every single Rivian model. It, and, you know, it has a nice, cool design to it. Dropping down, we have our R1T branding. All of this lower area is going to be finished in a matte black plastic. Then the lower, very most lower area is going to be a shiny uh, chrome finish. And you're probably curious about the tow rating for this R1T. And I think you're going to be very happy about this. Um, it's rated at 11,000 pounds, which is actually 1,000 more than the maximum towing you can get on the F-150 Lightning. Now it's a pickup truck after all, so if you get a pickup truck, you're going to want to put stuff in the bed. So let's go ahead and check that out. So in order to open it up, there are, they want a nice clean rear design back here so they don't have any buttons or anything. So you just locate this right here, and this is your tailgate release. So if you press that, as you can see, the tailgate falls down. Um, nice soft close tailgate. And as far as this area, you will notice it's very, very nicely finished. So we have a really nice bed liner here. Like I mentioned on the side, this is a four and a half foot bed, um, which is going to be able to fit quite a bit of stuff. This is not like a full size truck, though. Um, so it's going to be a little bit less space than something like a Lightning. That said, as you can see, they do have this little piece here that extends it out. So if you need to haul something long and can have the tailgate down, um, you're going to have no issues with that. Now, let's go ahead and break down some of the features that they have thrown in, because as you would expect out of an electric pickup truck, there are a lot of really cool features thrown in. So over here next to my water bottle, it's nice important to stay hydrated when it's hot like this. Uh, you will notice we have an air compressor, which is a really unique feature. That's something that you can't get on an F-150, so you can do all of your outdoor adventuring, and you have your air compressor here. We also have two 120 volt household style outlets on this side in addition to all of your led lighting across all of the sides as well as up there at the top now we're not done yet because up underneath of the floor here um, you can uh, store a spare tire or just have additional space underneath and one more feature once we shut up the tailgate here you will notice that we have a power tanyu cover up here so when we shut the tanyu cover here um, you have 52 cubic feet of covered cargo capacity. So that's actually quite a lot of space and, you know, something that's really unique that you can, you know, have a pickup truck and if it's raining, shut it up so it's completely covered and protected from those elements. Now this is an electric pickup truck, so that means we're not done with covered storage in the rear area. We also have a frunk. So you do have the button on the fob that you can open it there. You can also open it inside the cabin or locate this button right here. When you push that, it pops it open and it's a fully power front trunk up here in the front. Now we don't have an exact uh, figure for how much space this has in regards to cubic feet. Um, that said, it does have quite a bit of space. It's not as large as something like an F-150 Lightning, I will say that. However, it is really nicely finished. We have a LED light here on both sides. Um, you have this floor right here as it's equipped right now. This makes it completely flat. However, you can lift it up to get the maximum amount of space. And it does have these nice magnetic things that clip it. So it keeps it completely out of the way if you want to just have the maximum amount of space but don't care about the flat floor. So overall, this is a really, really quite nice uh, front for the R1T. But we are not done with cool features yet. I saved pretty much my favorite feature for last because this is super cool, guys. So you might have noticed this area right here. And if you're not familiar with Rivians, you might have just thought it was a body panel. Well, it's not. So if we push this button right here, you'll notice that pops it open. And we can fold down this entire area. And let me just tell you. So this doubles have a lot of different functions. But if Drew comes over here, you'll see it actually passes all the way through the entire truck. This is called the gear tunnel. And what this allows you to do is to store things, you know, completely horizontally. So if you had like a large set of, a set of skis or something along those lines, you could slide that in there and then shut it up perfectly fine, which is really 
neat. Um, this is the first vehicle I've ever seen that has this. I think this is the only vehicle that has something of this nature. Now, in addition to that, it does support up to 250 pounds, so you can sit on it. So if you're camping or doing whatever, you can sit on this. There's one on the other side as well, so you can have two people fully sit down. Additionally, Rivian does offer attachments, so you can even have a full kitchen attachment <laughs> to these uh, gear tunnel things. So really whatever need you have for your off-roading and adventure nature, Rivian's gonna offer for that. We also have a first aid kit on that side and then these do open up to show a little bit of additional space in there. And then in order to shut it up, you just push it close like that. And now it's time to talk about your safety systems and the warranty for the R1T. So let's go ahead and discuss that. So Rivian is throwing in three out of four of them as standard equipment on every single model. So that's gonna be Ford Emergency Braking with pedestrian detection, auto high beams, and lane keeping assist. Now additionally, they do offer a driver plus system that is adaptive cruise control, and it also offers level two highway driving. So, you know, you can have some hands-free driving on roads that Rivian has mapped. Now, as far as your warranty is concerned, you do have a really quite impressive warranty. You're looking at a five year, 60,000 mile basic warranty, and get this, an eight year, 175,000 mile drivetrain and battery warranty. So, pretty sure you're not gonna have to worry about you know, covering this on your own if you buy one of these Rivians because that's a very, very impressive warranty. But guys, there's a lot of really cool stuff to show you on the inside, so I won't talk any longer. I'll leave it to Drew to show you the cool features on the inside before we take this out in the spin. So as we walk up to the R1T, you do have a pretty unique key fob. It actually looks like a carabiner. Uh, which kind of, you know, goes with the whole Rivian theme here, and you can actually use it as such. You've got your four buttons on here, lock, unlock, the front, as well as the tailgate. So, of course, the door handles do pop out, and when you pop them out, also you'll have the uh, mirrors fold outward, and you just grab that to unlock the door. Now before we get fully in and check out this absolutely beautiful cabin, I do want to take a look at one of the pretty unique Rivian touches. Just like with a Rolls Royce, over here on the side of the door, you do have a special treat. In this case, it's going to be a flashlight, so you can use this for all your exploring needs. Um, and just pull it, push it in there, and as easy as that. So very, very neat. But let's go ahead and get into the interior here. We're in like the standard suspension setting and getting in is still pretty easy. Now like always, let's go ahead and start off by talking about our different interior color and material choices. Now since we do have the Adventure Trum, that is going to give us some additional choices when it comes to colors. So what we have on board is the perforated vegan leatherette. If you choose the base model, it's still going to be a vegan leatherette, but it won't have the perforations. And as you can see, this is an absolutely beautiful looking seat. I love this design. All the different perforations, the stitching designs, the cloth accent that runs through there. You've got Rivian branding through the centerpiece, a separated section, a beautiful headrest yellow accents that are going to be throughout the cabin. Just an absolutely gorgeous and very nice feeling um, seat. This, of course, as you can tell, is the black color option. You can also get ocean coast gray or forest edge green themes for basically the entire cabin, and those do cost an additional $2,000 at this time. Now, as far as the seats themselves, they do have lots of ways of adjustments. I don't know exactly how many to be entirely honest, but it feels like we have uh, at least 12-way power adjustment with the four-way power lumbar support. But let's go ahead and talk about really just the interior as a whole and the materials on board because that to me is one of the biggest things that just really stands out about the Rivian is just how beautifully executed this cabin is. So starting over here at the door trim, we have leather over pretty much all of the area, vegan leather that is, of course all across the upper part as well. Double color contrast stitching through here and you're gonna notice a lot of beautiful open pour wood that runs throughout. As far as our windows, one touch auto up and down for all four. This actually is your door handle kind of integrated down here, real metal. Now as we move on up here, we do have a nice Alcantara headliner. 
full leatherette across all of the upper dashboard here with the stitching detail. And then my favorite aspect is just the absolutely generous use of wood that runs through here. So you'll notice this beautiful open pour piece of wood goes all through here. Rivian is engraved into it and it's really, really rough to the touch, which just makes it seem so um, authentic that I really love that. Of course, you got more of the leatherette through there. It's gonna run into this area as well. More wood through here and everything does fit together really well and feels very solid. Again, of course, Rivian's not been around for that long, so uh, it definitely feels a lot more, you know, well put together than even some of the Teslas that they're building right now. Now, uh, just like with Tesla, you don't have a traditional push button to start it up. You're just gonna put your foot on the brake and that is going to boot up uh, into the full drive mode, even though, as you can see, as soon as you get inside, the electronics go ahead and fire up as well as the climate. And that little chime you just heard is your indication that the vehicle has fully fired up and is ready to drive. And this, of course, is your gauge cluster. So you do have a full 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster on board. So unlike Tesla, you don't have to rely on exclusively the center screen. You do have a a screen for just the driver here and as you can see it does contain you know, your vehicle status uh, you have your additional information that's coming up over there and then this kind of is this cool like faded out picture of the map location so you do have that GPS location and then your other messages like what you just saw with the music kind of pop up above that so a pretty nice setup and then of course as we pull back to the steering wheel you have a nice uh, leather wrap steering wheel. It's got a flat bottom design here. We've got a cross stitching detail and more of this open pour wood that runs through here. Um, our buttons are multi-use buttons. So what you do to adjust the standard power adjusting steering wheel is go into the display and uh, you turn on that power adjustment. When you do, you can roll the wheel up and down like you've probably seen on some of the Tesla models to adjust the standard power adjustment. It is also standard heating as well. But let's go ahead and take a look around at some of the interior storage as well. So I'm going to turn over here to our uh, center console. As you can see, we've got a nice area to rest your arm on. Uh, over here you have a button. It's not a traditional button. It's actually very sensitive. And when you press that, uh, both of those edges there are going to pop open and it's going to reveal a lot of storage. This is actually a very deep storage bin. Uh, we do also have our two USB-Cs right there. And let me reach back here actually and grab our coupons. They kind of fell out of my uh, reach here, but you know, we've got to do the coupons. I mean, electric cars save money on gas and we're going to save money on food because we have plenty of space for those coupons to fit. Uh, right here, we do have another large storage area. I do believe this is a wireless phone charging pad as well. And then, oh my goodness, you have just a ton of space right up here in the front. Uh, totally open for whatever gear you have with you, groceries, whatever. It's just going to fit right there. Um, no problem whatsoever. Now, the other pretty clever thing about this Rivian is you can reach right here and just pull. And this right here is a Bluetooth speaker. And as you heard, it actually turns right on as soon as you pull it out. And you could actually take this out uh, to wherever you're going. It's going to just keep playing the uh, music that's already playing from your phone and inside of the car. So. Uh, just a super, super neat feature um, and just kind of all goes as part of the unique Rivian touches for that active lifestyle that they're going after. Now pulling up here, of course, having this big open console comes courtesy of the fact that the shifter is mounted up and out of the way. In this case, it's going to be mounted up here as a column mounted electronic shifter. So it's very simple in terms of your operation. You're just going to press down for drive. When you do, you can see the status of the car change there so you know you're in drive and then go the opposite way for reverse. When you do that, that's where you're going to pull up the 360 degree camera system. This is standard equipment. As you can see, you've got that overhead view, you've got the rear view, but we also have a lot more views that we can uh, cycle between. So if we press that button, that's gonna switch us to some side views. Um, I believe we can also, there we go, switch to a front view as well. And uh, there's 11 total cameras in this car and that can be up, uh, pulled up even if you're at speed or out on the trail, so certainly very helpful for different types of situations that you may find yourself in. Then for park, just press right on the end of the stock. Now as we turn over here to our main display, this of course is really 
uh, a big part of this interior, maybe the primary part of this interior because so much functions are gonna be inside of this system. So this is a 16 inch display, very high resolution, absolutely gorgeous to look at. And uh, like I said, I'll just kind of go through and break down some of the features you'll find inside of here. I do want to go ahead and start off though with the climate controls. So they're going to be located down here along this edge. So you can just adjust the temperature up and down as simple as that. But if you want the big menu, you go ahead and tap that button right there. When you do that, that's going to give you all the additional functions such as controlling the fan speeds manually. Um, and importantly, controlling the vent. So just like with Tesla, you actually uh, move the vent location by sliding this uh, button here up and down. But the cool thing about this, unlike Tesla, is the fact that since the vent here is exposed, you can actually see this move. So let me uh, go ahead and adjust this to the side and you'll essentially see this slide around as I do this. So this is just really cool. Uh, definitely like the way that works and it's really nice and responsive as well. Now up to the side here, this is where you also find your control for your heated steering wheel. You can turn that on and off. You do have three stage heated seats. Those are gonna be standard on all the models. And then the ventilation is gonna come when you get the adventure trim level. And of course the car is also smart enough to know that it's very hot today. So the seat ventilation is gonna be down there for quick access. So you don't actually have to go into the full menu every time to activate that. The other thing I want to mention before I kind of dig into the software is the audio system. So with this model, we do have the Meridian Premium Audio System. I went ahead and paired my phone to this um, vehicle and we'll go ahead and give it a sample. Overall sound quality is absolutely excellent and you just saw me zoom in. We do have beautiful metal speaker grills on board which is uh, definitely another thing that I really like about this cabin design. Okay so let's talk about this display and the interface. So I could talk about this for a really long time. I'll try to keep it as brief as I can um, but I think the biggest parallel to point out is the fact that having uh, as being a Tesla owner ourselves the infotainment system software actually is pretty similar to Tesla in terms of layout. So it's not super confusing getting in here for the first time. I do actually kind of know where some of the stuff is gonna be. So I'll go ahead and click down here at one of our shortcut buttons. This is our built-in navigation system. As you can see, uh, nice graphics, really good performance. Um, I do like how all this set is set up and it takes up the entire display here besides for the small little card here, which is gonna include our audio functions uh, going through there. This button here is going to be for our different drive modes and drive settings. So there's going to be a ton of different things that you can pick between. These are going to be all your drive modes. Uh, we do have a region, uh, ride quality, and then over here is where we can adjust the air suspension. So like I said, I, we're in the standard height, so that's 11 and a half inches. We can go down or up. And then a lot of the other main functions are gonna be located inside of that. So you have these uh, menus here. This is gonna be basically all of the things that can open and close, turn on and off inside of the vehicle, including the hood, charge port, gear tunnels. I mean, you can do all of this from the outside, but you can also do it here on the inside. That again is how you adjust the um, steering wheel as well as the mirrors using the steering uh, wheel uh, knob there that I was telling you about earlier. And then of course you do have um, all of your charge functions here. This is where you can set up your daily charge limit, uh, check how much charge you have, how quickly everything is charging, um, you know, all the standard affair things that you need when you own an electric vehicle. Now moving on from that display, as you can see, we do have a frameless auto dimming mirror. Your uh, Homelink garage door openers are built into the display. We also have touch sensitive LED lighting I already mentioned this, but we do have the Alcantara headliner. And then up at the very top, as you pretty much expect for a really nice electric vehicle such as this, we do have the full glass roof. As you can tell uh, by the fact that I'm pointing this directly at the sun, it is heavily tinted, but there is not a sunshade and it does not open, which is pretty much typical for most electric vehicles. 
Well guys, I'm very happy to be sitting in this all new Rivian R1T's rear seat. And I have to say, first sitting back here, there is a lot of luxury going on and also there's a lot of space back here as well. So we do actually have all the specs and figures for this all new electric pickup truck. So let's go ahead and hop into that and see what you get feature wise. So as far as the legroom is concerned, we're looking at 36.6 inches of rear legroom, 38.1 inches of rear headroom, which of course does make this smaller than the F-150 Lightning. As I said on the outside, um, you know, this is just a smaller truck in general, but over I'm five foot nine. This is Drew sitting position. He's five foot eight and there's still lots of space. So the average people, you know, an average size person is not going to have any issues back here. My feet can also slide up underneath the seat and these formats are super, super cool looking. Now, I do also want to talk about some of the features since this is a luxury pickup truck. So here in the middle, we do have vents on every single model and every single model is also going to have four zone climate control. So as you can see, each rear passenger back here can adjust their own climate. It's real nice and easy. You have your lighting button right there and also standard on every single Rivian R1T is three stage heated rear seats. In addition to that, you have two USB type C ports. You have a household style outlet integrated down here um, below that. In addition to that, we do have these really cool seat back uh, designs. Some of the coolest looking seats I've ever seen. And there's also functionality too with it. You have a coat hook, you have a USB type C as well as some beautiful wood trim around it. This nice little holder with these really cool looking hooks. And as far as other things to mention, the headliner is really nice. We have a leather wrapped assist grip. And then if you turn over to the door trim, you will notice we have the same materials as the front. We have leather on the top part, more wood trim, and just overall the materials are really quite impressive, plus some storage down below. Now this is a pickup truck, so we do have to have a very usable rear area in order to show what's underneath of the seats. You just lift them up. And then as you can see, you have your subwoofer here on this side, but underneath of this seat, it's going to be a little bit hard for me to, there we go. If we lift it up, you see there's quite a bit of underfloor storage here. So anything you're going to want hidden from, you know, view or just need a little bit of additional space, you can put it underneath of the seats in the R1T. Now the R1T is going to have a power passenger seat, as you would expect out of a luxury truck like this. All but the base model will have the lumbar support as well. And then as far as some features that you're going to see, we have this beautiful wood trimming, we have leather trim, beautiful materials throughout the cabin. However, there is no glove box, as you can see. Um, that said, we do have this little storage area up underneath of the seat, so you guys can put some coupons or sunglasses, whatever you're going to need up underneath of the passenger seat. Um, you know, it's not as big as a glove box, but still decently sized, and you do also have that door storage right there. Now, as far as the sun visor, nicely wrapped in this soft material. We also have LED lighting and a mirror. <laughs> All right, so there's a first acceleration with this Rivian R1T. And guys, 835 horsepower. And you can tell that as soon as you just kind of dip into the throttle, this thing is crazy. <laughs> the power on this is crazy. I mean, this is a very large truck in terms of weight with the large batteries. I believe it's over 7,000 pounds, but you can't tell that no. when you press the throttle because you have so much abundant power on board, so much torque, um, 908 Eight pound, pound feet, of, feet torque. of torque. Yes, absolutely. This is incredibly, incredibly powerful for a pickup truck. Um, I mean, this might be one of the most powerful cars that we've ever reviewed on this channel. Um, it is just insane amount of power. If you're curious as to what that's going to get you to 60 in, that's going to get you to 60 in three seconds. Yes, zero to 60 in three seconds in a pickup truck. So um, to say this R1T is fast is definitely a little bit of an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is from a stop. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to your brain for a pickup truck to be this yeah. fast. It's like, how am I driving something that I'm up like 10 inches and still going this fast? 
Now, this of course is the quad motor all wheel drive system. So that means, you know, you do have a motor, an electric motor for each wheel, which is also a very unique thing for the Rivian R1T. Now they do offer a dual motor all wheel drive system. That's not in production yet. Um, so all the ones that you're gonna see rolling around now are gonna be the quad motor all wheel drive. Um, we don't have a lot of specifics regarding that, but we do know it's gonna have more than 600 horsepower according to Rivian. So that's not gonna be a weakling or anything, but you're probably gonna want this one right here, so. Yeah, this is gonna give you the most power, obviously. Um, the other thing that you're gonna get is um, the ability to um, turn. So you can, it'll turn the wheels opposite of each other, so you can actually spin around um, in a circle, which is just <laughs> a really cool thing to be able to do. And, you know, just another unique touch of having an electric motor on each wheel, which is basically crazy. Kind of going around this corner here, I'm surprised by how well this is handle, handling uh, going around the corners. It actually feels pretty buttoned down. Um, the steering though is really remarkable. This is the best steering I've ever felt in a pickup truck, that's for sure. And Mason, you could probably toggle me into maybe a sport mode or something. Yep, there we go. Yeah, you can really feel that this is uh, actually quite good when it comes to handling the low center of gravity. Um, it really feels nice and buttoned down. All right, guys, and now that we're on a highway, I do want to talk about uh, something Drew already kind of mentioned a little bit, your ride quality. Um, we are in the sport mode right now, and I can tell you this is one of the best riding trucks that I've ever been in, period and we're in the sport mode. And we were in the all-purpose mode a little bit before. And, um, you know, this has a full air suspension, which allows you to have that absolutely phenomenal ride quality um, that you've grown accustomed to, like in a Ram 1500. Uh, and it's something that's actually not available on the F-150 Lightning. So that's a unique feature for this Rivian R1T. Um, and it really does handle it super well. And like Drew said, it allows it to firm up a lot and have a really good dynamic when you're you know trying to be a little bit sporty. Exactly the change between the drive modes is really quite uh, spectacular. Wow guys going 55 miles an hour we got a minimum of 55.9 decibels in the R1T so once again you know that goes to show you the R1T is a luxury truck and they have done a lot to dent in this cabin, make it feel completely insulated, in addition to having that fantastic ride quality. And, and power <laughs> up. Yeah, and that. <laughs> now this is an electric pickup truck, so we need to talk about the battery sizes as well as your range. You know, that's an important part about having an EV is you need to know how far you can travel on one single charge. Um, so for the large pack, which is what we have with us today, um, that's going to have a 128.9 kilowatt hour battery pack. Um, and that's going to be good for 314 miles of range with the quad motor system. Now for the dual motor, they're estimating 320 miles of range. So that will give you slightly more range. Um, once again, as Drew mentioned on the outside, the wheel size does also affect your range quite a bit. Um, so do keep that in mind when picking between the two. There are also offering a max pack. This is not in production yet, um, but it will be, and it's gonna have 172 kilowatt hours, which is- That's humongous. Yeah, guys, that is giant, ridiculously big battery, um, and they are quoting over 400 miles of range for that model. So if you need the maximum amount of range, you might wanna wait around a little bit longer to get that max pack model. It's gonna cost you about $16,000 as an option, um, but you are getting incredible range figures for a pickup truck. Now, the standard pack is also offered. Um, we don't exactly know the kilowatt hour rating for that, um, and that's gonna be late availability. Just know that that will be coming later if you need a lower priced R1T. And as we come to a stop here, I do wanna talk about the brake region, because this is something a, a little bit um, different from some of the other electric vehicles I've been in recently, including the Lightning. So you have two modes for the region. You have standard and you have strong. And the standard one is actually quite strong uh, just by itself. Um, so there's no like low mode, like for instance in our Tesla Model 3, you can turn it on low. It, it kind of slows you down a little bit, but you know, nothing too much. Um, but this one here, 
you can one pedal drive even in the standard mode. So just something a little bit to get used to, but of course it's uh, you know very important for keeping you know recharging the battery and things like that. So it's kind of a good practice to get into, um, but. Uh, just be aware that there's not a way that you can turn this off per se. You are going to have that regen ability all the time. Alright guys, it is time for our signature element, the air ball and slam dunk. We, you know, we might be one state below Kentucky, but let's get into that element. Slam dunk today. <laughs> Honestly guys, I guess I didn't think this through enough because there's a lot of things I love about it. And I think really just this truck in general. Being Rivian's first vehicle, I am so incredibly impressed by what they've created here, really through and through. The cabin materials are awesome, the exterior design is awesome, the innovation is awesome. This is an awesome truck, so that is just, I, the whole yeah. truck is an airplane. It's kind of like a, a do-anything, yeah. go-anywhere type of vehicle, and I think that's just so impressive, especially because this is a kind of a new frontier, you know, for an electric vehicle to be able to do the off-road stuff to you know do the everyday life be like a a full luxury vehicle but then still go on an adventure you know it's just a really really amazing and awesome combination now our air ball is going to be um a little something that's really just a factor right now is the availability mainly um these rivian r1t's you know they're it's a new brand, they're not producing a lot of them, so they are hard to get. You order one, you might have to wait a while to get one. Um, and you also might have a little bit of you know build quality issues here at the beginning of the production run. So um, that's something to just keep in mind if you're looking to buy one of these. You might have a few issues there as far in terms of availability and build quality, but um, overall, we've actually been very impressed by the build quality of this particular unit. There's only a few little flaws here and there, so. Right, if you remember a couple years ago when we were in one of the very first Tesla Model Ys that were produced, that one had oh, some Lord. substantial yeah. problems, <laughs> yeah. which warranted a whole separate video, but happy to say none of that's on board with this model. And wrapping us up, you're probably curious as to how much this beautiful truck is going to cost you. The Explore trim is going to start at $67,500. So it is going to carry a, you know, a luxury price tag, as you would expect. Um, that is the standard battery with the dual motor all-wheel drive system. Um, the Adventure trim is going to start at $73,000. Um, and then, like I mentioned earlier, this is the Adventure with the quad motor all-wheel drive system. But overall, guys, after spending the day with this Rivian R1T, to say we're impressed would really be an understatement. You spend time with this vehicle, and it seems so thoughtfully created, so well-rounded, so competent, that you forget that this is a brand new company we're talking about, their very first product. Um, it's just absolutely amazing that they're able to put out a vehicle that's this good. And, um, you know, if you can get your hands on one of these, it's hard to say anything bad about it. I mean, honestly, it, it really is an amazing, amazing electric truck. Well, guys, thanks so much for joining us on this in-depth review of the all-new 2022 Rivian R1T Adventure. Of course, once again, a special thanks and shout out to our friendly owner here that allowed us to view this R1T. It's a beautiful truck. So we're so glad he shared it with us and allowed us to show you all what you can get with this R1T. As always, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button down below. We would really appreciate it. It helps give us opportunities like this to give you all cooler content. So please go ahead and do that. Also follow us on TikTok and Instagram, and we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive deluxe.